Happy Travelers! Travelers. Welcome back to Aulani, a Disney resort here in Hawaii. And uh, we are ready for an action-packed day after our long travel day yesterday. First full day here. We are gonna have so, like today is going to be like the perfect Aulani day and I'm so excited and I can't wait. Aloha spirit is in the air. Feel the island breeze. All right, I'm in more of like a kickback and relax kind of mood. So we're gonna get a nice mix today. <laughs> I'm really let's, excited. Let's go ahead and get it started. Our first full day here at Aulani begins right now. It's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful day. Here at Alani, it's a beautiful day. And look, it's our first character signing. It's Chip and Dale. Me and my sister's favorite. Hey, Dale. It's so nice to see you. You know what? You two are me and my sister's favorite. Yeah. We say that I'm Chip and I'm Dale. <laughs> And then right across the spot where Chip and Dale just were, you can see the big cheese himself. Mickey's hanging out over there. Looks like maybe for a, I don't know if this is part of a special dining thing or something. There's stuff set up over there. Kind of off to us one thing. Hey, hey Mickey! Mickey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and this is nice. This is where Chip and Dale were meeting. Is actually a giant koi fish pond. They got like a sea turtle kind of rock thing over there. Look how big. Yeah, the, the fish are large. The fish are. That's not even the biggest one. Got the nice waterfall. This resort is stunning. We've only seen a fraction of it. But leave it to Disney to do it up the best. Now I am going to take a break from my typical touring duties while we are here at Aulani. But I did want to kind of just show this map to kind of let people know how things are laid out and where everything's at. So like this is the main entrance roundabout here with the guest parking and the valley parking garage there. And then this is the main lobby area. We're staying in this building over here, right by this elevator actually. And then this is the luau spot. We'll be seeing that later. And then you have the main pool and lazy river area. So you can see the lazy river pool area kids splash play area and they have other pools and stuff as well the rainbow reef where you can snorkel with colorful fish things like that all spread throughout here the other building accommodations tower there and then you just have the beach with the lagoon here and there's actually other lagoons further down and you do have access to those there's like public beach area so you can walk down and check it all out bye stitch, bye, stitch. <laughs> yeah just ran into stitch just walking down the sidewalk there <laughs> boom this is very much like Disney Cruise where there's just like characters out and they just like pop out of nowhere. It's really quite nice. I love it and they have all their Hawaiian gear on. That's a nice touch. It's so cute. Hey, why don't you take a picture with your mom and dad and I'll take a picture. We popped into the Rainbow Reef Rentals Someone booth. Someone else is popping into Rainbow Oh my Reef gosh. Right what? Is Stitch going to go swimming in Rainbow Reef? Stitch, 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 stitch. Woo! Woo, thank you! <laughs> we might just have to stay here forever. Um, I was kind of joking about that yesterday, but now I kind of mean it. Um, yeah. It's hard, it's almost hard to film stuff because like we were going to explain something and then boom, there's a character. Oh right, back to business, okay. <laughs> so yeah, we stopped by the Rainbow Reef Rentals because it's one of the places where you, one, you can get towels and two, you can get your pool wristband for the day and Matt will explain the rules of the wristbands yes. for the pool. So do you need them because the beaches are public, right? So anyone could walk up and go swimming and they don't want that, they want it just for the resort guests. And so they give out a different color wristband every day. So you tap your room key and then they give you that color wristband or that day's color wristband so they know that you can use the pool and the slides the lazy river and all that now if you are a disney vacation club member like as it says that right there you get the special sparkly band yeah so that's pretty cool a little it extra added benefit makes me feel good why not and every guest has to wear their wristbands and they say they only give one out to each person per day so do not take it off until you are done with the pool for the day and built into the lazy river and pool area they do have a yeah. couple of water slides including one you do on tubes you see the people up there waiting with their tubes in hand and then there's just like a standard body slide i believe as well and i think they dump out into the lazy river which is pretty cool ah and that confirms my beliefs yes dumps right out here and into this grotto and then you can swim right out to the river 
not a bad spot for a pool day. Nice big pool, looking right out to the ocean, right through the palm trees. Now I think with the family today, we're gonna focus more on the pool and splash area and Lazy River, but I did wanna show the ocean, of course. This is the cove that Aulani is located on. So it's actually a pretty good size one. As I mentioned, there are four coves in this area here. They continue on down and you can have access to those. And it's nice because they are coves. They have the breaker rocks out there and it really kind of kills the waves, gives you a nice calm lagoon area to swim in, snorkel in if you want, you see some people out there doing paddle boarding. Lots of fun to be had and just a beautiful, beautiful vista. Oh, and this is nice. They have a small little adult pool hot tub area that flows over like infinity style, looking right out to the ocean. All right, we've switched over to our GoPro and our new phone case, that's waterproof like, phone case that's massive. It's like a brick. <laughs> but we're gonna give it a try and uh, we're gonna hit the Lazy River now. <laughs> All right, got our double tube, we're in. I wouldn't exactly call this heated. It is definitely not, and not that's not to say they advertise it as such, but just to let you know, it's, it's on the cool side. It's not bad though. Snack stop open 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. right here in the pool the first area, and uh, very excited about some of the items on this here menu. <laughs> and right next door, the shade ice stand. I know Chelsea and her sister are very excited for this. I don't think we're doing it today, but at some point that is going to happen. This area is really cool, it's right over like in the middle, like by the pool. But it's themed like really fun. It's like these little beach shacks or like surf shops and something. And if you look closer, Christmas lights. And for this meal, we decided to go with the cheese sticks, looking super good. Mini corn dog bites. And this I've been excited about before we even left, the coconut breaded shrimp. Comes with the fries there. They asked for your sauce preferences. They had ketchup, mustard, tartar, ranch, barbecue, marinara for the cheese sticks. Moana just told us to enjoy our snacks. <laughs> she asked was like, hey, everyone, enjoy your snacks. Thanks, <laughs> she, Moana. She said, enjoy your boat snacks. Boat uh, snacks? Boat snacks. Oh. And they, they are quite good. Well, I was wrong about the shaved ice earlier. Chelsea and her sister just went to go get some after we finished our lunch. And now we are down at the beach. Gonna head into the water down here. Pacific Ocean for the first time. Well, not the first time ever, of course, but first time on this trip. Although first time ever for some of our family, which is pretty cool. Trip to Alani would not be complete without a little bit of shaved ice. Mickey style. Look at all the flavors you can get. I love it. And I love that it's Mickey shaped. My Mickey has gotten absolutely demolished. He's barely even Mickey anymore. But the flavors I got were guava, orange, and leche, or lychee, however it's pronounced. And the leche one it tasted like rose water. It was, it was interesting. I wouldn't get that again, but everything else, really good. Ah, after some fun swimming times at the pool, lazy river, and the ocean, everyone's now getting ready so we can head down there. It is almost. Luau time. So the luau is a paid additional offering, of course, and it's going to be the standard kind of luau dinner you might expect where they're going to have kind of a buffet set up out there. They will also have some little activities before the luau begins, like lei making or ukulele instructional lessons, things like that. And then once you've got your food and everyone sat down, then the entertainment begins singing, ukulele playing, dancing, hula fire twirlers i believe so lots of fun stuff on the horizon just to give you an idea i believe pricing was about 183 per adult and i want to say like 109 110 
for children up to nine years old, I believe. So somewhere around there. Um, and our scheduled time is 5.10. It says we can check in at 5.05 and that we can arrive 10 minutes before that to actually check in, like get in line. But we've done some research and we actually saw it last night because our room here overlooks the Luau area. When we got here, we saw the line gets backed up way ahead of time. So we're actually gonna go down around 4.30 and try to get in line because we want a good seat. We wanna have time to do the activities once they open everything up. So looking very forward to this. And we've come down to the end of our building and got in line. Now we wait. And the line slowly begins to shuffle forward. Now I mentioned the pricing earlier. I should point out, we have the general seating. They do have a preferred seating where you get earlier entrance as well. And that does cost a bit more. Almost to the little check-in podium here, and then we will head in. I should also mention that the price, whether you have general or preferred, includes your food, the buffet style dinner, includes your entertainment, as well as all beverages, even alcoholic, are included with your luau event. All right, we have passed the podium. They've given us our cards here. We have to present both when they start seating in about 10 minutes. They do ask if there are any food allergies and note them on both cards there. So got everything taken care of per the usual. Wouldn't expect anything different with Disney. And as we approach the actual entrance to the area, I see they have been giving out lays as well as the, what is it, the Kukui nut necklaces. She's handing them out right there. There they go. Okay, so you actually, whoa, there we go. So yeah, they're actually giving these to all of the adults, and if it's a child, they have the option to have that, or a Maui hook. See, she's got them on the little rope there, a little string, and it's Maui's hook at the end, so that's pretty cool. So right when you come in, they have a little black table you can set your belongings on, then you take a family photo there with the different dancers up against the, the foliage, and then once you're done with that, she says you recommend it just go ahead and go on over to the check-in area, because the seating is first come, first serve. All right, so just got our photo and once again, they recommend just go ahead and checking in and getting your seat And they have welcome drinks right here. Hoffman for these. They got the alcoholic version, the non-alcoholic version here. This is a uh, pineapple juice, pineapple syrup, and vanilla. Not sure what's in that one. And coming in early has paid off. I'm very happy with our seating. We are right here at the end of this table and there is the main stage area. So obviously the preferred seating people got to come in right away. And then us, I think we made out pretty well. I think our seat's great. And even though we got a little smidgen of rain, it, I think we lucked out because like it was just when we were coming in, the show hasn't started yet. So. We're I'm good to go. So, I'm so excited. I've heard this uh, luau is amazing and I, I can't wait. Let's go do some fun activities. So something that makes the luau here at Alani so special is that they have all these activities for kids and big kids to participate in before the luau actually starts. So for example, over here, they have ukulele lessons and they teach um, kids or anybody else how to play a simple song. And over here, they have a temporary tattoo uh, station where you kind of get a more traditional looking tattoo that they use with um, washable ink. Over here they have a poi making station which is like a traditional Hawaiian food. It's taro and it's like all crushed up and uh, you can see how you crush it up and make it over here. And over here they have a lay making station where you make a wrist type lay. All right, Charles wanted to do the lay making. So I like think. Would you like to make a bracelet, or would you like one that was made by one of us? Oh, can I try making it? Oh, so they give you the option. You can make it, or they will make it for you. That's pretty cool. They're gonna teach Charles how to do it here. Okay. Once you have all the flowers on the string, I mean the needle, I'll put on the string for you. Okay. Okay, great. If you want to take it off, all you have to do is just. Uh oh. Do you guys want to pull the string? Or did you want to make one? Awesome, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Where are you guys visiting from? Stylish. Um, and then if you want to uh, Chelsea just know. received top marks. Thank which you. is not surprising. <laughs> oh cool, I made a lay in Hawaii. That's awesome. I love it. And our niece got one of the temporary tattoos, so they just kind of stamp it on your arm there. Very nice. That is cool. Oh my so I mentioned all of the drinks are included, alcoholic, non-alcoholic. They did give us the welcome drinks as we came in, but they have this bar area set up where you can come and order additional drinks. Your server can also get drinks for you. Woo, I don't know why we're making noise. I was talking. And I'm seeing all kinds of stuff in the bar area, different kinds of beers. Looks like they have some wine, 
spirits, some liquors kind of thing. I do see Kona coffee back there. Or no, it's, it's on a local coffee. Oh no, it's a, it says Kona. The water station, which they had water at the table. So yeah, all kinds of stuff. Oh, and there's the soda. It's like some Coke and Sprite. No, you're fine. So at least Coke and Sprite is available here. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And we have our nieces in our party. So when you travel with children, I guess they have a child's meal box that they will actually deliver to the table for you. I think that's what they said. We'll confirm that, but I'm pretty sure. So that's, that's nice, kind of taking care of everything. That means you don't have to go anywhere. You don't even have to stand up. You can stay exactly where you are, and all you have to do is follow along. Now they just came around to the table with a tablet and showed us the different pictures that they took when they came in and offered uh, the ability to purchase those. Right. And it was what, one print for? One print for 35 and then you could add a digital download for $10. So 45 So kind of pricey. Now if you get the, oh, time for food. If you get the preferred seating, like the preferred entry and all that, I believe that includes the complimentary photo. So okay. we were gonna do it, but it was sold out when we yeah. bought our tickets. I think so. it sells out pretty quick, so you might want to like do that early. Aloha, 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 aloha. Now this beautiful evening, would you please help me welcome Tony? Now Tony will be your banquet captain this evening. So they just announced that the banquet captain is gonna walk around and release us by table to head through the buffet and grab our grub. All right, we're in line for the buffet now. The table has been called, so there's two sides, one on the right, one on the left, and then they have the different stations set up to grab your grub. So here's a look at the first station, like a salad station. You have the greens, tomatoes, a papaya dressing, and this is taro and guava croutons. There's a taro macaroni salad, ahi poke, and lomi lomi salmon salad. Oh, and then this is the poi. They say is an acquired taste. And at this station, white rice, Okinawan sweet potato, a stir fry of vegetables, blue style braised pork, teriyaki chicken, Hawaiian local catch, and macadamia nuts, and then some rolls. And then they have a carving station with sea salt crusted prime ribs served with a creamy horseradish. Oh, and a jus sauce. And the equivalent of the dessert station with fresh fruit as well as guava cake, macadamia nut brownies, passion fruit cake, and a coconut pudding. So we actually did end up trying the boy. It's just very bland. Kind of chalky, bland. It doesn't taste bad. Not, not really too much else to say about it. Because our nieces are kids, they they give like kids bento boxes of things that kids would like, and I have to say it looks pretty good.
but the winds roar. Definitely get your money's worth here. And now some of the cast members are out here on the lawn taking pictures and videos of people as well. All right, friends, that is going to do it for us here from Aulani, our first full day. I don't think we could have made it more any action packed than we did. No, and um, the, the luau was amazing. I mean, it, um, I, I, it's pretty pricey. I don't remember exactly how much it was per person. I covered it earlier. Oh, okay. So what he said. <laughs> um, but so it's it's pretty pricey, but 
and I don't have anything to go off of because I've never been to a luau before, but I mean, I, I feel like every cent was worth it with the activities, the food was really good, and I feel like we got like a really great impressive show and the storytelling was amazing and like the, the skill of everybody, like I, I completely loved it, every second of it. The only qualifiers I would give is that if you have kids, they might get a little bored just depending on the child just because you know there's a lot of music and stuff like that i mean you might get a little restless but i our nieces they were pretty engaged the whole time the younger one like a little bit when it was like before the the main show actually started and done with dinner you know like done with dinner and before the main show started a little restless but not bad i feel like the actual show part is really engaging and the activities is really engaging the only other thing is don't expect a huge disney production the only disney kind of thing was mickey for mm -hmm. like 10 seconds and then he was out it was really hawaii and the culture and the story and all of that stuff so it really felt felt like at least a very authentic genuine experience so don't think you're going to get some "Quote unquote watered down IP centric yeah. Disney production." No, it's 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 it seems legit. So, uh, loved it all around. Yeah, it um it was it was fantastic. I would do it again. Yeah. If when we come back. So there you go. Yeah. Tomorrow we will be back here at Aulani, another full day, and we'll see what else we get into. We might be venturing off resort. We're not sure. So you'll have to come back and check out the video to find out what we did. And uh, with that said, I think we're going to sign off for tonight. We will see you back tomorrow. But until then, happy, happy travels. travels.